Okay, YouTube. Hello. Welcome in my Windows 2000 computer. This is a very, very old computer. Let me try to show you some specifications. And I'm trying to do video editing on it. Here you can see 376 megabytes. Running Windows 2000. Uh, Surface Pack 4. And this thing has one gigahertz processor so that is really slow as you can see but windows 2000 is running very beautiful on this system because i'm using this to make recordings i also gifted the windows 10 update package the transformation package that i use the windows xp but it only changed the icons the start menu and the start orb is kind of unchangeable. Here I installed Rocket Dock, as you can see, and I inserted the updated icons into the Rocket Dock. Looks nice, huh? So let's look at my computer. Here you can see we also got the Windows updated control panel. We have the nice flat hard drives that we also have in our rocket dock so that also looks fantastic so how is this system doing well we could go to the task manager and take a look we can go to processes and these are the processes the highest will be of course the Camtasia recorder using 30 megabytes and the performance is at 71 to 80 percent sometimes a little bit higher and you can see that the ram at least the memory usage is 142 megabyte so that is uh, yeah it's you can see that the mouse is lagging a little bit but still i can work with it eh? you can see that if you <laughs> have a little bit of patience and you use alt f4 to do certain things you know it works so what am i doing with this well as you can see i'm using it for cool edit pro i will not start up cool edit pro now because <laughs> that would be a little bit too much but for everyone wondering what they could still do with an old laptop you know that cannot run windows 7 anymore or windows 8 or maybe even windows 10 an old pentium 3 well this is what you can do with it eh? you can make a beautiful recorder from it that will let you record live music and other things that you do or maybe you know cassette tapes put them digitalize them uh, on the computer so that is really really cool at least i find that is cool um, i see no reason to throw away the system because i made recordings yesterday with a system just like this also running windows 2000 but then only having a 400 megahertz processor well i can tell you it went fantastic all the recordings went just fine and these were long recordings from 58 minutes complete sets that we played with the band and uh, the sound is, is pretty good you know I have no problems with uh, with the sound and uh, what I discovered was that here and there well I heard it to one I think one time I heard it in the complete recording was that it you know it jumped just a little second but I think that was because it was going to sleep but then I woke it up immediately again well the screen was turning off you know that uh, it does automatically even when recording if you're recording a long recording you know you should put the screen to not uh, to turn off so all the drivers are installed oh yeah let me show you the display driver it's a very old one Oops. <laughs> it's lagging a little bit it's a little bit hard for me there you go trident video accelerator cyberblade xp and i got the drivers from toshiba so thumbs up toshiba there for still having these deprecated uh, old drivers for us 
because nobody's really running Windows 2000 anymore. But I say Windows 2000 is fantastic for a yeah, offline system. And I will even go ahead and test it online and see how bad it is online. Of course, you should not do banking with this. But I can understand that maybe you would like to read the news or maybe, you know, browse eBay. We're going to see if we can do, do these things in, uh, yeah, in the next video. But this is the video editor. This is uh, the latest uh, version or the, yeah, the last version that run under uh, Windows 2K. Uh, this is version 5. Let's take a look at the version about. By the way, this is uh, a demo. I don't see the about. Oh yeah, it's right there. About, you can see it. Oh, this is version four. Version five wasn't running anymore. So, version 402 is the version that you can run on the Windows 2K. So as you could see, this video um, is recorded uh, on the system. And it will also be rendered in this system. So I'm really, really wondering how this will look and how it will sound if I broke up and if we are missing pieces out of this recording. But uh, nevertheless, this video will come online because this is just for historical purposes uh, to sh also show you how beautiful um, Windows 2000 can still look today, 2015. Um, how stable it is, how s yeah. I think how fine it works with audio. I have no complaints at all. And I think Windows uh, 2000 should not be put away just like that. I think uh, them old systems, you know, think of something that you can do with it. Because there were many things we were doing way back there on these old systems. And uh, if you get the old laptop, don't be disappointed. Look what you can do with it and give it a good meaning so it can be functional to you don't try to get uh you know stuff out of it that was not meant for it as you can see if you run the right software you can even do video editing on the windows 2000 although i must say that this video editing packages uh, package came way later than uh, this operating system i think this came in somewhere 2004 2005 so this was like five years later or six years later, you know, so upgraded uh, technology also there from Camtasia. Fantastic little program, still using it. So even on the old old laptop <laughs> with only 374 megabytes RAM. Peeps, thanks for watching. If you think this video was cool, of course, hit it a like and subscribe to my channel for videos of all kinds.